guys. I am back with another video today on transportation. Actually, this is the second time I'm attempting to film this video because the first time I made it unnecessarily complicated. So, I have a lot of questions from my clients about how to get from their resort to another resort, usually for dining because like I have mentioned before, you do not have to be staying at a particular resort to eat at one of the restaurants. So say for example, you're staying at Pop Century and you want to eat breakfast at Ohana at the Polynesian Village Resort, you wanna know how to get there. So you have a couple of options. Now for the sake of this video, I'm presuming you want to use the free Disney transportation. You don't have a car and you don't want to use the minivans, which you have to pay for, or a cab or something like that. So if you want to get to another resort, Disney does not have direct resort to resort transportation. The only time that you do that is when it is in your same loop. For example, if you are staying at the Grand Floridian and you're going to Animal Kingdom, I believe the, the bus will stop at the Contemporary and then the, the Grand Floridian and then Animal Kingdom and then I think Blizzard Beach and then the Contemporary and it's an ongoing loop. So that's the only type of situation where you have resort to resort transportation, but it's not marked as resort to resort transportation because that's not really the point. They're going to the park. <clears throat> So if you want to go from your resort to a different one, the first step is to get on your transportation at your hotel and go to one of the parks. So if you're staying at Pop Century, you get on a bus at the Pop Century to go to one of the parks. And then at the park, you get on the transportation for the resort you want to go to. So say you take the bus from Pop Century to Hollywood Studios, and you then wanna to go to the Polynesian, you would get on a bus from Hollywood Studios to the Polynesian. Now, I will say you can do it this way. What I think is fastest is if you are going to one of the Magic Kingdom area resorts. So if you are going to the Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Contemporary, or Wilderness Lodge, I recommend that you get on a bus at your resort, get on a bus for the Magic Kingdom. And I say this because the other forms of transportation from the Magic Kingdom to the Magic Kingdom area hotels is usually faster than if you were waiting for a bus. Say you, say you went to Animal Kingdom and you were um, now waiting for a bus to go to the Polynesian, you'll likely wait longer than if you were waiting for a monorail or a boat at the Magic Kingdom to go to the Polynesian. Hopefully that. Oh dear, I shut the camera. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yes, if you're going to a Magic Kingdom area hotel, I definitely recommend you take a bus to the Magic Kingdom. And then if you're going to either the Polynesian or the Grand Floridian, get on a monorail and go there. That's probably gonna be the fastest. If you're going to the Contemporary, just walk. You can walk there, it's very close. If you're going to Wilderness Lodge, you can either switch buses and get on a bus for Wilderness Lodge, or you can take the boat. Either or. Now you have to make sure that the park transportation is going to be running before you, uh, before you engage in these plans. I guess you want to make sure that you know they're not gonna um, shut down or whatever. So make make sure that you confirm with your times guide when you are at your resort. But usually this isn't a problem. Now if you want to go to the boardwalk area or one of the boardwalk hotels, and the boardwalk hotels include the Boardwalk Inn, the Yacht Club, the Beach Club, the Swan and Dolphin. Those are all around the boardwalk. So if you want to go there from your hotel, I recommend you take a bus to Hollywood Studios. Now you don't wanna take a bus to Epcot, which seems kind of illogical if you've, if you've never been to Disney. It's like, why wouldn't I take a bus to Epcot? I know the boardwalk is like touching Epcot, but the boardwalk is on the back end of Epcot and the Epcot transportation, if you take a bus there, is on the front by the main entrance. So in order to get from the main entrance to the boardwalk, you have to go through the park. If you don't have park hoppers, or if you don't plan on visiting the, even if you do have park hoppers, if you don't plan on visiting the parks that day, um, you don't wanna do that because that's gonna use a day of your 
park admission because you're entering the park. Even if you just walk through, you're entering the park and it's gonna use a day of your park admission. So I recommend going to, taking a bus to Hollywood Studios. And from there, you can either walk to the boardwalk area or you can take a boat. They have boats there that go to all of the hotels that I mentioned and just the boardwalk area in general. And then to go back to your hotel, regardless of if you're at a Magic Kingdom hotel or if you're at a boardwalk in the boardwalk area, you just go back to the park that you came from and then switch to your resort transportation. So if you're at the boardwalk, go back to, the, go back to Hollywood Studios and then get on a bus for your hotel. And if you're at one of the Magic Kingdom hotels, just go back to the Magic Kingdom and then get on a bus for your resort. So hopefully I made it a little bit easier this time than the last time, which I didn't even bother showing you because it was a disaster. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy actually. Um, but you just wanna make sure that the resort transportation will be running when you are leaving your hotel and when you are coming back from your hotel. So I hope you guys found this helpful and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.